Students from the Bangor United Technology Center finished the new switch electric vehicle they have been building over the last five weeks and were able to drive and ride in it for the first time. The vehicle actually is composed of a lot of components that are more or less recycled from commercial vehicles. Every component that is in this vehicle is in a traditional EV, but in a different form. They've learned the basic essential skills about working with EVs, including high, low voltage electronics, drive systems, and suspension systems in a hands-on environment in the Darlings EV Lab at UTC. We each had our own like experience in different areas, which was really cool, so we got to learn from each other. They've been working on cars, and then I got to show them how to work on electronics, because that's what I, in my area. I would say my favorite feature would be probably the motor. Uh, I, I think it's the coolest part, because I mean, it's where all the power comes from. I've never worked with cars, but I've worked with um, the like electrical stuff. We do a lot of like terminal blocks. We do a lot of that here at UTC. We did spend quite a bit of time on it, but it went pretty quickly with a lot of kids working on it and a lot of time spent. I learned a lot about like the brakes. That's the biggest thing I learned that I did not know before and how like brake alignment works and everything like that. So it was really just, really, it was just, just a new experience. So it was cool to learn. It was taught by a Darlings professional and not necessarily just our instructor. So that collaboration was really valuable for our students just to see somebody else and have different perspectives. I've been with Darlings for 17 years, um, senior master Ford tech for the past 14 years. I was invited to participate in the switch program to build these vehicles. Uh, it has been very fun. For many years, UTC has been providing automotive education to local high school juniors and seniors. Our goal of the EV program is to be able to offer that to our 11th and 12th graders coming in that have an interest in automotive, electrical engineering, um, even anything that has to do with electronics. My hopes for this program is to educate the students to understand EV technology in today's world. It's not just about the car, but it's about the mobility scooters that you see at your local Target and Walmart, the handicapped chairs at the hospital and so forth. So that's basically what I'm looking for. Kim Cotta, the Talent Development Manager at Darlings, has advocated for Darlings and UTC to partner on this program. As a graduate of United Technology Center right here in the automotive program, I've always wanted to find a way to give back to the school that really gave me so much. Um, I, I literally owe my career to the start I got here at UTC. Um, so for years I've been thinking about different ways we could get involved with the school. Darlings has generously donated the Switch EV kit that the students have built. The car can be built, dismantled, and rebuilt for the next class each year. About a year ago, I started doing some research and I came across a company called um, the Switch EV Lab. They're based out of California and they actually sell this EV vehicle along with the full curriculum um, to designed to be taught by an automotive instructor to a group of students. So I pitched the idea to the leadership of Darlings and uh, they, were, they were all for it. Um, they're all about supporting the communities um, and as an added bonus, you know, helping to train and recruit the next generation of technicians. The Electric Vehicle Technician Training Program at UTC will help bridge the gap between the electric vehicle industry's quickly expanding demand for technicians and the training needed for students entering the workforce. EV technology is going to be here, it's going to stay. Getting them prepared for that and what is the infrastructure of that, what is the support of that, what does that look like for them in their career fields, uh, it's next level thinking. Some of the things that I would say for a student going into this is to don't be afraid to ask for help, but at the same time, don't be afraid to jump into something and try to learn it and try to figure it out. Um, a lot of the, the stuff that you can learn is based on just doing and getting that hands-on experience and figuring out the, the job. It's been wonderful working uh, with the faculty and staff here at UTC. Uh, they've been super, super supportive, so um, the partnership with UTC has been absolutely amazing.